So we're going to look at monetary and fiscal policy mainly in this PowerPoint presentation. Monetary policy is when the Federal Reserve in the United States adjusts the money supply which will change interest rates and that will then impact the overall accurate demand in the economy. And fiscal policy is either adjusting government spending or taxes to impact the overall aggregate demand. And we'll see how monetary and fiscal policy can be used theoretically to try to increase demand in a uh, recession to try to end the recession. So let's go through it real quick. So just uh, an example, we had this in the previous chapter. We had a uh, stock market crashing. So you were at full levels of output, stock market crashes, people become very pessimistic about the future, and there's less demand in the economy. Aggregate demand shifts to the left. So we went through that, pretty intuitive. So one point you can look here is this here, Y2 is the recession. You are below your full levels of output, unemployment rates higher than it should be, and it's mainly caused, if you look at this diagram, because there's not enough demand in the economy. So the idea of using monetary or fiscal policy will be to try to shift this back to the right, shift it from A, uh, aggregate demand 2, back to aggregate demand 1, increasing overall demand in the economy, getting you back to full levels of output. Uh, one thing, though, if the government does absolutely nothing, or the Federal Reserve does absolutely nothing, uh, the recession would end on its own because you end up with a scenario where once uh, there's enough time, all prices can adjust. The prices that were sticky in the short term are able to drop or unstick. So if it was sticky wages, lowering the profitability of the firms, those wages then drop. Profitability returns again, and short-run aggregate supply curve shifts back to the right, and you're back at your full levels of output. And the only difference is the overall price levels in the economy would be lower than before, right? Originally they were at P1, now they'd be down to P3. Um, the criticism of this, though, from John Maynard Keynes. So here is the criticism of John Maynard Keynes of the classical model and just allowing time for prices to adjust. So he was saying it really wasn't describing what was going on in the short term or short run. So the classical economists were saying, well, just give enough time and prices will adjust and you'll be at your full levels of output. And his critique of that was uh, quoted here, well, in the long run, we're all dead. And also you can see here talking about a storm, you know, um, the ocean will be flat after the storm. Well, most people want to, uh, you know, that's not too helpful. If you're in the storm, you need want something to do during that uh, rough time period. So his suggestion was to, increase the overall aggregate demand of the economy because if that's what was causing the problem there wasn't enough demand in the economy well maybe um, the central bank the federal reserve in the united states could create the demand or the government could create the demand by increasing government spending or lowering taxes so you can kind of see how he kind of viewed the world and how that's made it into the mainstream model for the short run